I think it's possibly one of the most important assets that a that a company can have, um, particularly in today's economic environment. I think um, trust in the messages that companies are giving out, uh, people's levels of confidence in uh, and belief in the, the the messages, particularly around performance and the sustainability of performance going forward. I think um, it's a it's a critically important um, asset for any for any corporation. If you're a company like Diageo and you have the combination of having, uh, you know, stewards of amazingly powerful and iconic global brands, you know, Guinness, Smirnoff, Johnny Walker Scotch, you know, that places a particular duty uh, upon us as a corporation because we have such, um, you know, large scale interaction with consumers, with stakeholders around the world. I think when you couple that with the fact that our core product is, of course, alcohol, um, which you know is enjoyed by millions of people around the world, is at the centre of celebrations, uh, you know, everywhere, um, and ca and can uh, you know consume responsibly, have a fantastic uh, and and positive uh, uh, role to play within society. But of course, when misused, can have um, uh, you know very difficult consequences as well. Um, that places a particular responsibility on you and and also on stakeholders' expectations of how your company will conduct itself and again, you know trust is a really important um, commodity in that in that uh, in that dynamic um, it 's important that when we authentically say that we want to um, do lots of positive work around promoting responsible drinking, reporting, you know, promoting the responsible consumption of alcohol. It's, it is important that that is authentic and it is received as such. And the, uh, you know, the starting point for that uh, to avoid a sort of a cynical response that this is a, a, you know, not part of the DNA of the company, but rather a bolt-on, has to be, you know, the trust of our stakeholders that, that Diageo is a you know, a good corporate citizen and will try and do the right thing. Um, we're not perfect, no, no company is, no individual is, but um, I think it's, you know, really important that we have the trust of our stakeholders that, that we will endeavour to do the right thing. I think trust is predicated not just on um, really effective communications of what you do, it, it really is fundamentally about um, that old phrase of by your deed shall ye be known. Um, and I think for companies like ours and, and companies the world over, the important thing is to authentically walk the walk as well as talk the talk. So um, for us, it is really about that um, you know, authentic, authentic connection between the narrative that we uh, convey, what we're saying to our stakeholders, the messages we're giving out, and also our corporate body language. You know, if you claim that you are a leading light in, uh, in terms of trying to drive uh, responsible drinking, for example, or um, you know, have a positive impact in those communities in which we we operate the world over, and particularly in the in the developing world, um, then you've got to actually do it, um, and manifestly uh, be be living uh, the message and living what you're what you're conveying, and I think that that's that's the thing we constantly try to to you know keep keep in balance so we don't over blow what we do. Um, we're very effective at, at connecting with, with, with stakeholders and with our consumers. Um, but I think it does come down to this you know, authentic manifestation of, uh, of, the, of the claims you're making, of the, of, the, um, you know, of the reputation that you're trying to build. Um, and that's really where the power lies.